the great thing about working with Rich and Phil um, is they are not scared of, there's sometimes a tendency that's a completely artistically erroneous to assume that because it's an animated film, you can pull your punches a bit. So if there's a fracture situation, don't go too far with me, you know, keep it safe. Th these guys are great for like, no, that's why, why would we do that? If there's a genuine fracture happening in their relationship, we should enhance it in the music and be brave about it. And so with their blessing and encouragement, um, all sorts of aspects of the music are, are, have been pushed one step further, you know, than the, than the first film. It's tempting to think, because it's the internet, you go on a crazy synth adventure only and don't use orchestra. I promise you, you need both. Because you need all of the motoric electronic elements um, to be the internet. But when Ralph sees this crazy new world, you need some of that inspiring, uplifting orchestral sound. And it's how to get both things to work together. Hidden behind all this amazing technology and work and animation, all the rest of it, all of which you need, is something very solid and, and narrative. And that's why you don't have... Because it's possible to, to watch things that have all sorts of distracting and amusing things, but when you've finished, it is a little empty. And what's great about Wreck-It Raph is right underpinning it all is something really solid emotionally and narratively.